the long-awaited showing of my craft palace, as my husband calls it. We have sold our house, and I have sold most all the furniture in this room. So, once I find a new house, I will be rebuilding a craft room. You gotta watch this. Got a lot of really nice lighting in here. And the doggy working in the window. Let's start with this bookcase. On top, you're gonna just find a bunch of books that are either decorating books or just some personal books that I really like. You come down here and I have a lot of my cling stamps all categorized here. I do need to get them onto an app that I have used, some new items. And then these are my dies and they are all numbered and I'm going to show you an app that I've used for that. I keep my stamp perfect in here. Down below are my wooden stamps, the ones I tend to go to more often. And then we have birthday, a little bit more birthday with Mickey Mouse and fun stuff for kids, some Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas, and this is all letters and numbers and things like that. Down below here, I have my scrapbooking stickers, and these are all divided up with some really nice dividers in these really super containers. I believe I got on Amazon, and they fit the stickers perfectly. So we have holidays. nature, school, vacation, valentines, and they all fit in there really nicely. And down below I keep bag fill for gift bags if I'm making a gift basket for someone. So over here I have extra cardstock. I have um, address labels and things like that in here. And then I have some personal books and items there. I keep my microfiber cloths in there along with uh, my window cleaner and things like that. These two have fabric and felt. And these are just a couple of miscellaneous. Oh, just like some wooden letters and things like that. And then these are large ones. <clears throat> so that's it for that section and all of this is for card making if i go to the top i have paper trimmers and then my card stock and then i keep my cricut mats my bright pad some larger pieces of felt like the 12 by 12s this is all miscellaneous paper in here so these were some of the papers, the paper pads, and I took them apart so I could separate them uh, by color family. I keep projects I'm working on in here. All of my specialty paper pads are in here. And this is some things that I've sold to my buyer for my house. Here I have all my card making supplies. A 
miscellaneous uh, blank cards. Envelopes, label maker. In here is a bunch of duct tape and things sold to my buyer. I have got my collage paper from Ideology by Tim Holtz and a couple of projects I'm working on here in the background. Here I keep craft foam and some extra folders for my embossing folders. All my embossing folders are in these nice envelopes and you can see I've taken a sample of what the embossing folder is and put that in there. And then these are cataloged as well. I just put that in the wrong place. And then I have a couple of my old Sizzix plates in here. I have extra supplies. If I have foam dots or um, double-sided tape, glue sticks, uh, extra tape runners, things like that. I like to just keep them all in one spot. Here I have embossing glitters and the ink pad for that. Miscellaneous cuts. Now this is just a place that I have stored things that I've cut out and ended up not using or whatever, but I certainly didn't want to throw them away. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. So it's a great drawer to just pull out when you're making a card and you're not quite sure what you want to do. In here, I keep my small flowers for doing my shadow boxes. Down here, I've got some stencils. I have got parchment paper and just some odds and ends in here, like some drawer liner, aluminum foil. This is where I keep extra measuring tools. Um, I do some drafting from time to time, and then my drafting materials are in here. This is a lot of my embellishments. I have got just some miscellaneous items in here. I keep a lot of my pearls and some odds and ends. This is all full of keys and this is also embellishments of all kinds. So if I'm looking for something really fun, it's probably gonna be in there. I have buttons, lots of buttons. And then I have clothespins and old spoons and things like that. I keep extra cords and surge protectors. This is one of the We Are Memory Keepers embellishment holders. It's pretty cool. So I can get a whole lot in there, put that on my desk when I am working and everything is right at hand and it stores nicely. I'm getting ready to work on a project that is going to require some clear spoons and some more embellishment. I've got some shadow boxes here that I haven't started yet and I've got extra glue for my glue pot and my glue gun. And I have all my jewelry making supplies, all my beads, my wire. I keep wooden items in here that I might be working on. This seems to be a lot of holiday. We've got Valentine's Day, Easter. Some just miscellaneous. Uh, these had cricket rolls of vinyl on them. I've got little toilet paper rolls. Some just blank wood pieces that I can make signs out of. This is the same. Did Christmas ornaments with these. And the same for in here and in here. So these things I keep up here by my by everything so that if I'm coming up with an idea, I can quick look and see. Now let's go back here. We'll look in the cabinets. These are projects I'm working on right now. The baby elephants and the vinyl cups that I make. 
just some boxes that hold the extras, tumblers, and a scrapbooking project I'm making. So the second cabinet here is going to hold washi tape little jewels that we can stick down on shadow boxes or cards. I've got cute little brads that go in cards. This is where I keep all of my impress art and my stamping tools. I have got um, vase filler and things like that up here that are really cool for being able to put into shadow boxes or some other uh, really fun pictures. I have ready-made cards in here, cards that are finished or about finished here, and the same for in here. Some more really cool items for just craft projects. And I've got my aprons in here. got a postal scale and then I've got some Easter eggs that I made last year that we're going to do a video on this year. And this is for vinyl placement for the HTV for t-shirts. And then here is a little uh, nice setup for a ruler to uh, make sure you get it all straight. And this cabinet has a chalkboard in it. And this is a Martha Stewart. So if we come down here, we've got ribbon. Another embellishment holder. This one is empty. Um, this is things that I have sold to my buyer. That's why that's on there. All of this is filled with ribbon. And right now it's not as organized as it should be because I just went through it all the other day. This is where I keep all of my epoxy supplies. You can see I've got the epoxy, my alcohols, extra container. I've got some big glitters that I also use, and then we have the epoxy uh, dies and paper plates. alcohol inks are in here and I tend to also use those with my tumbler and I do like to make little epoxy resin pieces for my granddaughters when I have leftover so a lot of times I've used this is crowns I've used hearts and things like that and then of course extra gloves a few more of these and I use these as stirrers. Here's where I keep my sanding blocks and here's where I actually keep my little toolbox that I use for doing epoxy. I've got cups, I have got the little um, measuring cups, my alcohols, my tape, gloves, you name it, it's in there pipe cleaners, dowel rods, zip ties. For right now, duct tape is in these two because I have so much of it. Some miscellaneous containers. Scrabble letters and little wooden numbers that I, I use in my baby shadow boxes, wooden beads, glue sticks, extra glue guns, a glue pot with some more glue, my heat guns, my mini heat press. This is a project I'm working on. The final. All of these are vinyl, whether it's permanent vinyl, HTV, just some miscellaneous vinyls, and removables. And up here are the large rolls. And 
around here, just a couple of books, some uh, tools. Now here's two things I really wanted to show you. The way that I store my scrap cardstock. Everything is in here by color. I have two folders. One for larger pieces, and then in front of that, a smaller one. And that holds the little pieces. You would waste so much money if you just threw away every piece of cardstock after you used it. So I have every color of the rainbow, all the way back to white, gold, silver, vellum, plastic, and then sometimes I have cardboard here, like these are cake plates, and some corrugated cardboard. And then I came across a deal on some cardstock from someone, and it wasn't wrapped. So I have those in file folders back here until I need them. Here's where I have my little silicone sheets. I have HTV down here that is in sheets that has been scrapped, so I have little parts of it. And then we've got leather and suede here, and, about it. and then here's some more of the permanent that's in really small pieces. You'd be surprised how much you use. And then this is for packaging up when I make decals for people. And a little bit of my transfer tape. This is all office supplies. All neatly put in here. My stickers for um, marking all of my products that I've made. Over here we have glitter. All in nice order so you can see it. These are my pieces that I put underneath my tumbler turner to catch the epoxy as it drips. I have got my glimmer mists in here, my homemade ones, uh, my dots for jewelry, magnets. And this is my messy area. This is where I do all of my tumbler. I just keep these two here. This is one that I happen to be working on right now. So any messy projects get done here. And this is what I am now keeping all of my transfer tape on. It is an antique butcher paper holder and I just was buying my transfer tape by the bulk. Now this is an old dresser that I purchased many years ago. And I keep my laser square from We Are Memory Keepers on here. I use that a lot. Here is my Empress by Anna Griffin. This is my die cutting and embossing machine. All of my tools for my Cricut. This is my Maker 3. I keep my Maker over there and generally I turn it around when I'm going to use it. Down in here I keep sewing supplies. I've got a sewing basket and some other materials that I use. Some extra boxes in here. My Cricut, I don't even know what you want to call them. The pieces I put in to be able to use other markers and pens in my Cricut. And hardly ever use these, but I think as my granddaughters get bigger, we will be able to. So we've got our punches card making and stuff. This is all for wrapping. Uh, I've got tags, tape, all that fun stuff in here and bows. We have got tissue paper, gift bags, 
and wrapping paper in little boxes. A couple of my tools. I keep my chalk paint and my waxes there and my larger cans of wax. Mod Podge, clear sprays, gesso, that kind of thing stays right in here. And then just more, more miscellaneous. And this is my ribbon holder. Now this is two pieces from Hobby Lobby. And they're not ribbon holders, they're shelves. And I was searching everywhere for something that would hold ribbon and this turned out perfect. It was a year ago in the spring collection and I was lucky enough to find two of them and they fit perfectly in this area. This is all paint, wax, actual paint supplies, rollers, rags, waxes, cleaners, glazes. And then I have some supplies for making sugar scrubs down in these two. This is the little organized hardware holder. Paintbrushes. This is where all the markers and the colored pencils and everything sit. My acrylic paints and my colored spray paints. I keep all my metallics up here because I tend to use those a lot more. This rounder was full um, with a lot of my tools that now we're down here, glues and things like that, but I just recently sold that, so I've just got what she has purchased in there. Craft scissors, she's purchased those as well. My tool bag, I have sanding tools in here. My saw, my batteries with my chargers. Just wire and duct tape. My sewing machine. My heat press. This is stuff for my granddaughters and then for doing calligraphy and other writing. And this holds Savorsky. I want to keep that separate from my other jewelry making. It's because I don't want that to get mixed up with anything. This is a nail table that rolls. I absolutely love it. I keep my glue gun, my glue pot, and ready tools that I use often. Scissors, punches, certain markers. And this is where all of the filming takes place. This houses glues, punches, alcohol, brush cleaner, my little We Are Memory Keepers vacuum, pins, little corner punches, my glossy accents. Down here I do keep florals and some little extras that I tend to use a lot in my shadow boxes. I don't have to go hunt for those downstairs in my basement. And underneath here are all my camera supplies. And then this table, I tend to end up using either for my Cricut maker or for photographing things. So I do have the big arm that will hold my phone. This is where I keep all of my ink pads, my small ink pads, and my daubers, and my acrylic blocks. Glue. 
glitter glues, distressed crayons, my big black ink pad, my refills for my ink pads, my distress sprays, recently started a couple of books with ideas on different holidays, different things to make. I'm hoping that I actually follow through with that because there's a lot of really good ideas in there. You may have noticed the yellow post-it notes and those are for relabeling drawers as I had rearranged a bunch of things in the craft room a while ago. And if you've seen the bright pink post-it notes on some of the containers in the room, those are items that the buyer for my house has purchased from me. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my craft palace, as my husband calls it. Stay tuned, as we'll be moving at the end of April, but our new home won't be ready until July. So, I will then be rebuilding my craft palace in our new home. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, and please share and ring that bell so you'll get notified every time new videos are posted. Zip tie it, pull your loop up.